Justin, for coming to our studio, telling your story, you get a Raw Deal t-shirt. Sweet, man, I appreciate it. You mind if I put this thing on? Go right ahead. Awesome. Justin, welcome back, man. The shirt looks great. Hey, thanks, man. Does this make me look fat? Looks good. All right. So what do you do for a living? I'm a landscaper. What do you do? You plant trees? Uh, I do a little bit of everything, man. I throw a little bit of sod here and there. I cut down trees. I like, I like climbing with spikes. Mainly use the boom lifts on the trucks. Mm -hmm. But if I got to get down and dirty, I'll, I'll throw the spikes on here and there. Tell us your story. Well, I started off my day one day, about 6 o'clock. We go into work. We get our schedule for the day. And we have to throw about 44 pallets of sod, which is cool. Average day. 44 pallets, that's a big truck load. That's a In couple truck loads. A couple of truck loads. That's a couple truck that's loads. That's a lot of work. It's about three truck loads, uh, full, full size truck loads. Mm -hmm. Average time, maybe half a day, okay. maybe the whole day, depending on where it is, how the shade is, how hot it is. Apparently, this day was the hottest 102 with the index. About 11.30, my boss came up to me and says, listen, we're going to have to take seven people off the job. We have another job that we need to tend to that we need to get done. So now we're down to four people. We get 27 thrown. We got 14, 14 pallets of sod left with four guys. Now it's time to do double time to work. So around 1.30 comes around. There's no water on the truck now. We've now run out of water. Called my supervisor. My supervisor says, well, you guys are too far out. We can't run water out to you yet. We don't have any extra guys to make it. So I says, all right, we're going to go ahead and see how far we can get. Hopefully we'll get it done. So we started back at it. Had a nice rhythm going. Around 3.30, we got down to probably the last eight pallets. Mm -hmm. And that's when things started going downhill. What do you mean by guys, that? Guys started getting weak. Guys started getting tired, dehydrated. No water, no shade. Long pants, long shirts. Um, pretty much what happened was towards the last three pallets, I was going back to the truck to get some more sod, come back to lay it out. On my way back, I caught a dizzy spell. You caught a dizzy spell? I caught the dizzy spells. Never happened to me before in my life. How long has it been since you had any water that you can recall? It was probably about two and a half hours. So two and a half, three hours. Any sip of water or anything? Because you were completely out. Completely out, bone dry. Um, started to make my way back to the uh, to the site where we were laying the sod and I passed out. I hit the ground. Next thing you know, I woke up and I looked around and I seen my, my boss and he asked me to come, you know, hey, come over here and sit in the truck for a little bit. So I said, all right, I'm gonna come sit down and relax. And uh, I got in the truck and not too much was said. So the day went by, we got done, we went back to the shop and the supervisor came up to me and he said, listen, man, you know, we have to have somebody that's going to be able to adapt to the environment. It's going to be able to work hard, you know, push hard and whatnot. Now, this is the guy that you called for water. Right. This is the guy that, that we called guy. for water. Okay. And this is the guy that, that said, you know, we can't have, we, we don't have enough guys to come out there right now. We're on another job, you know. And I said, well, what's funny is when you send guys out to do your job, you send the right amount. When you get there and you take other guys out, that falls back on the four guys that have to lay these pallets. Plus the fact there was no more water. Plus the fact that you got 102 degree heat, there's no water on the trucks, mm -hmm. you, you, you gotta expect it. What did, he, what did he say? He pretty much told me, you know, well, we're gonna have to let you go due to your actions. So I didn't really say much after that. He said that he's gonna let you go because you passed out. Pretty much. On the job. Yep. How long have you been working for this company? I was working for the company about a year and a half. A year and a half, and you've never had any never had incidents anything. with the supervisor or any other people there? Nothing. Uh, you've always got the job done? Always. I've always had good ethics, always had good marks, except for this one day. I guess he must have woke up on the wrong side of the bed, didn't like the performance. Was anybody else let go? No. Just you, because Just you. you're the one that passed out? Yep. Justin, thanks for telling your story. Not a problem, man. Anytime. Now it's up to you to vote on who you think got the Ross deal. Will it be story number one? Story number two? Story number three?